I thought we had two of the greatest leaders in football, uh, one on offense and uh, Peyton and him on defense. So made my life uh, very easy. But uh, you always admire them as a player. But when you get to know them as people, that's how they end up here. And uh, he's, he's a special person. Uh, what a great teammate and unselfish, hardworking. You saw all those things kind of display with his speech, all the people that he thanked, the people that have been a part of his life, the sacrifices that he's had to make and uh, all came to fruition today and uh, wish I could have played with him longer. Uh, he was that good of a teammate. Uh, his leadership and work ethic really kind of permeated throughout our whole team, especially our defense with our young players like Vaughn and obviously a huge part of that Super Bowl 50 championship team. Marcus, is, I, I own my career. Um, you know, whenever he came to the Denver Broncos, it was a, a life changer for me. I had an example on how to do it on and off the football field. Um, one of my golf buddies, man, one of my brothers, man. I love DeMarcus. This is uh, this is where he belongs. What did he mean to you as a teammate? Uh, he meant everything. You know, when he came in, um, he was just a real leader, somebody that really taught you everything, uh, would keep you after practice and just help you with your game. And I think he was a real big reason why we went to that Super Bowl 50. What made him a special player? Uh, I think, first of all, hard work. He had great ability, obviously. But I've been around guys that had great ability. But he, he utilized that ability. You know, he worked so hard. Uh, and of course, I mean, you were around him, and not a better, great demeanor. Always, ha you know, always has a smile. He had a smile when he's working out. So I mean, you know, uh, he was—he's that kind of guy. Dware was everything. Him with his willingness to teach us and uh, just give us all the information that he had. Man, he was so knowledgeable about the game. So him standing and invite to me was a no-brainer that I was coming. I was just so happy and grateful that he did. And that he, I meant as much to him as uh, he meant to me to send me the invite. So I'm like, man, you, you send me the invite, I'm coming for sure. Like, no matter what, why not holding me back from coming here to support him. Play in the same position, uh, you know, what made him a special player? He was, first of all, he had a great get off. He had great hands, his knowledge for the game. Like, he, he was able to teach so much, man. I'm just so happy that I was able to get into that situation that I was my first few years in Denver because I learned so much and it helped me become the player that I am today. One of the most iconic plays in Broncos history, you and him diving on that ball in the end zone. Uh, what do you just remember from that day and that play? That day was amazing, man. Um, that play, uh, just I watch it a lot. Uh, just, just us, just Vaughn doing his thing first. Got to thank Vaughn for doing his thing. And then I just saw the ball, and I was like, ah, I get it. And then I, I was, I kind of gave him a little elbow, you know, saying, hey, get out of here. But I didn't, I didn't realize it was him. I didn't realize it was him. So, uh, yeah, I just tried to be great, man. It was cool what we did in that day. And, uh, you know, it's crazy how lifelong it is. Man, that's your ball. And then you threw it into the stands, <laughs> yeah, man. Then I threw it in the stands. Yeah, I know. I'm not used to getting touchdowns. I, I like sacks.